Well, I'm Martin Motes, and uh, we're here at the University of Florida short course, and uh, I was up here to talk about uh, what uh, makes for successful hybrids for commercial production, uh, which is kind of uh, something that I'm uh, interested in. Uh, I've been breeding Vandas for 25 years or so, and uh, we have kind of assembled uh, the what we think uh, immodestly is the finest breeding collection of Vandas in the in the world, and uh, we're now using them to make some interesting new hybrids and. Uh, that have uh, won some awards and won some international recognition. We were the world champions at uh, Dijon. We took gold, uh, silver, bronze medals, and the trophy is the best Vanda. And we're trying to expand on that and see if we can encourage young uh, growers here in, in Florida to uh, kind of uh, take up uh, that same sort of spirit and even take up perhaps some of our hybrids and carry them on to the next stage. But. Uh, also, uh, just in general, promote the idea of orchid hybridization, which uh, has been something that's been going on in Florida for a long, long time, and in recent years has fallen off just a little bit, but uh, we think the potential is there to uh, develop the industry and to uh, develop uh, interesting hybrids that probably uh, were unlikely to be developed anywhere else in the world. On the one hand, as the industry becomes larger and orchids become mass-produced, uh, there's a narrower and narrower range of, uh, <coughs> of people who are actually uh, producing new types of orchids. And uh, new types of orchids, of course, are uh, what makes the orchid growing uh, profession, the orchid growing hobby, uh, uh, exciting. And uh, uh, certainly Florida has historically been a place that has produced a large number of, uh, of great uh, hybrids. Uh, all of the pink phalaenopsis came out of uh, Florida. The, uh, uh, Jones and Scully and uh, some of the other growers of the 50s and 60s were producing some of the best new uh, uh, Cattleya hybrids. Uh, um, Brautonia hybrids uh, came out of Florida initially. A lot of the Equiton Toncidium things came from hybrids here in Florida and uh, we kind of like to feel we're part of that same tradition and kind of like to think that maybe we could do a little bit to help encourage the propagation of that uh, tradition, the, the continuity, the continuance that tradition and uh, so that's what we're up to um, and uh, we are trying to produce hybrids that are that are vigorous that are beautiful that are attractive and uh, that are useful and uh, uh, hopefully uh, would be commercially viable that people could actually make money at and uh, uh, continue to grow and we're doing that with Vandas and uh, with one or two other genera that uh, such as Encyclia and uh, certain types of cattleyas that uh, we tend to play with, but um, uh, we we're, we're play with them in a semi-serious uh, way. Uh, and again, uh, the Encyclias, for example, have uh, won two American Orchid Society Awards of Quality, which go not only to the plants, but to the breeder. And they're coming out of work that uh, was initiated by Tom Fennell of Orchid Jungle. And uh, so we're dealing with with a line of work that is kind of an art form in slow motion and uh, can actually be almost an art form that uh, spans generations. If <coughs> people take up the, uh, the hybrids that have been made before them and uh, carry them on and uh, take them in new directions, uh, you know, this to me seems to be the, uh, the future of uh, orchid uh, hybridizing and uh, because it's been the past of orchid hybridizing, that's what's happened. Uh, over the last uh, 150 years with orchid hybrids and uh, people are continually making it new and that's our objective is to make, uh, make orchids new and to uh, hopefully in the process produce uh, things that are both beautiful and useful. Seems to me that's the, uh, the essence of uh, things, uh, both beautiful and useful.